trên Amazon với mức giá cực kỳ ưu đãi như đăng ký brand với USBTO, từ khai lâm thêm, từ chơi gồm scout, lưu tích và warehouse. Xem hình thông tin chi tiết dưới phần mô tả nhé. By now you've learned how to optimize your campaigns both in Seller Central as well as in Atomic manually. What I'd like to share with you now is what a cadence of optimization might look like if you had taken advantage of rules in Atomic. Let's take a look. Here in Atomic, all of our users have access to three different types of suggestions. You have bid suggestions, new keywords, and negative targets. New keywords and negative targets require rules, and I'll go into that, but bid suggestions are going to be available to any campaign that's uploaded into Atomic within 72 hours or more, depending on how big the account is. So based on some of the suggestions you see here, you see ACOSs that are high, uh, marked in red, and lower ones are in green. And based on those, you're going to see different suggestions to increase or decrease those bids. You have a target ACOS here of 30%. And this whole column tells you what is the actual ACOS target for this particular campaign. If you ever want to see what campaign that is, you can go ahead and hover over the icon here and it'll let you know. Or if you want to just see suggestions for specific campaigns or just suggestions for campaigns in a specific portfolio, you could also do that. Now over on the far right is where you're going to either be able to reset the suggestion and that is effectively if maybe you're on the border about a suggestion and you just want to see uh, what it'll be with more time. If you hit the reset button, that'll basically start over the time period that we look at in order to make that suggestion. The apply button is basically just to apply the suggestions and you can go ahead and do those one at a time or you can even select all. Um, and then we've got an ignore feature as well. And the ignore is just that. If you don't want to see that suggestion on your page for whatever reason, maybe it's a keyword that you know doesn't do well for you, but you want to make sure that you still are uh, have a decent bid on it because it gives you really good impressions. You can go ahead and click ignore and that one will be removed. So our new keywords and negative keywords, again, these are rule based. So all of the suggestions that you see here in the Project X account are because Bradley has some of these campaigns set into a rule. So we're looking at the new keyword suggestions right now. And that's just saying that all of these particular uh, uh, search terms are ones that have made sales. You can see the sales here. I like to sort by the sales because I want to see if I'm looking at a new keyword, actually what's the amount of sales that, when, that that has brought in before deciding upon it. So you have the same uh, uh, or reasons here letting you know that this particular search term made the threshold or made uh, the cut for the customized algorithm that, that we have in order to create a suggestion. And you can also go ahead and check these to either apply or snooze or ignore. Now, when you hover over the apply, you can see where that particular search term is going to be added. And again, this is where the rules come in. So in the screen, in this module, this pop-up, you can see that there's at least four campaigns, uh, all in the large coffin, coffin shelf uh, category. And so of these campaigns, you can see that this one keyword that I'm hovering over is just going to be added to one of these campaigns, the exact match or performance group two. Uh, that is because you can see under notes that it exists already in the top campaign. In the second campaign, it does not. So that's where it's going to be added. The bottom two campaigns are ASIN based campaigns, so your, your product targeting campaigns. So obviously it's not going to be added to those ones because you can't add keywords into an ASIN based campaign. The negative targets are equally important, but also require rules. We need to know what the thresholds are if you're using our algorithm or if you're doing set thresholds, where what to look for in order to make these negative. So I like to sort these are already sorted by spend, which is the most important when you're considering adding negative targets. How much has it spent without making any sales? So again, each one of these are um, available to add to the campaigns in which the rule is, is included. And again, to hover over that, the check mark just lets you know that these different ones are just being added to one or multiple campaigns, again, depending on what rule that they're in. Um, as a reminder, this is very important. When you're creating rules, make sure it's the same product. Uh, because if you don't, you could actually negate some keywords that are maybe working for one type of product, but not for another. 
Um, if you want to ignore or reset these suggestions, you can go ahead or snooze. You can go ahead and do that as well. Maybe you want to see if that particular search term is going to spend a little bit more and it might convert down the line. Now, when you first load any of this, uh, when you first load Atomic, Again, I want to just mention back on the main screen here that we do have some settings available for you. Uh, and this is really important as a, as a potentially brand new user of our tool. We have these bid settings here. Now, it, the default ACOS is set for 40%, which is a little bit aggressive on this particular campaign. And all that's going to do is it's going to change the ACOS target for the campaigns that were uploaded into Atomic. So if you come to the tool and you already have a bunch of campaigns and you don't want to go with the 30% standard default ACOS, this is where you would go ahead and change it. You can also set maximum bids. If you don't want to go over a specific dollar amount ever, you can enter that here and Atomic will never suggest a bid over that particular amount. You could also enforce maximum, and this means that it's going to make sure that it looks backwards and it's not gonna, it's gonna reduce any bids that are under that if you just set it. Um, bid aggr suggestion aggressiveness, this is a newer feature, and it's basically saying if you wanna increase any or decrease any of the bid changes that you do see, you have the ability to do that here. So you can go up to 200% of the change, so 100% is at the center. So you can basically double the aggressiveness or you can reduce it down if you wanted to. And all that's gonna do, once you do apply those changes, is the bid suggestions that you do see here are just gonna be slightly more aggressive or, 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 um, or more conservative based on that. So if you are really looking at uh, attacking these bid suggestions, especially if your account is brand new, you can increase the aggressiveness and then you would see all the bid suggestions that you see here are gonna be increased. So these are just some of the ways that you could take advantage of using a tool like Atomic on a weekly basis just to optimize your campaigns versus doing it manually on the analytics page that I showed you earlier. <laughs>